Okay, so before we start, can we can we get our mirror? You have your plain mirror with you and your spoon. Okay, so um, please look at yourself in the mirror. Likewise, after looking yourself in a plain mirror, you look up to yourself also in the, or yeah, in the reflection in the spoon, in your spoon, I mean, the front and the back of the spoon and try to compare your image that is formed in a plain mirror and in the spoon. Okay, so I'll give you a minute to have that certain activity before we start. You just compare. So I'm hoping you have your spoon, a shiny spoon with you and a handy mirror with you so that we could, we could have a little differences. All right. So anybody who can who can actually um, give us a background or give us your observation, I mean, on the comparison of your image formed in a plain mirror and as well as in your spoon. Anybody who can share their idea? Uh, Lao, sir. Yes, Romel. From what I can see, sir. My observations are the from the plain mirror. It was uh, I can see my face. I can see the picture clearly, and from the spoon, I can see that the image was a bit blurred, and it was the image was a bit uh, flip, or my head was at the bottom and my neck was at the top. All right. So that was your observation in the scoop of the spoon, I'm sure. Okay, some others. How about at the back of the spoon compared to your plain mirror's uh, image? Others, please. Can you... is dis distorted. Uh, Kian, are you answering? Okay, can you make it louder? The image uh, seems distorted, sir. In what? And out of shape. In what? Distorted the, in what? Uh, in the spoon in the or in the plain mirror? Sir. In the uh, spoon, sir. In the spoon, compared to your image in the plain mirror. Correct? Okay. Some other observation. So, Romel observed that the image is not that clear in the spoon. It's quite inverted, that the head is at the bottom and the neck is at the top. Okay. Uh, compared to the plain mirror, which is more clear and uh, it's more upright in the position of the image. And uh, Kian obs observed that the, the image in the spoon is more distorted compared to the image in the plain mirror. So what else? Ano pa? Try to uh, Try to move the mirror back and forth in front of your face, or you put your finger like this and put your finger farther and closer same in the plane same in the in the spoon either you can use this the, the scope of the spoon or the back of the spoon or you can do both so that you can describe it further all right some other uh, I know some other observation let's start from Kerwick do you have any observation to to share for the uh, for the class? Kerwick, are you there? Uh, the reflection in the spoon is inverted, sir. While in the mirror, my reflection is clearer. Okay, so same observation with Rumel. Now you will see that. If you're going to describe the image in the plain mirror and in the spherical mirror, because the spoon is an example of a spherical mirror, there's a quite big difference. Our lesson for today class is actually the application of reflection, which is the behavior of light. 
and we could explain further what is reflection by using, of course, the very popular reflective material, which is the mirror. So our lesson today is to describe an image formed in a plane mirror and in a concave and convex mirror, which is classified to be spherical mirrors. Okay, so before we start, let's have first to recall what is reflection. I know you have already encountered this word. What is reflection? Uh, Neil Gideon, what is reflection? The return of light or sound waves from a surface, sir. Okay, the return back of light when it strikes the material. Or the word, the correct word is bouncing, correct? The bouncing back of light. There. Bouncing back of light. Now, we have this law that we use to describe more of the image or the behavior of your mirror. This law is called to be as the law of reflection. Who is playing uh, basketball? I know Neil is playing basketball. If you dribble the ball downward, straight downward, what happened to the ball when you let the ball fall on the ground downward? What happened to the ball? It bounces upward, sir. It bounces upward. Did you try to throw the ball at an angle wherein you throw it on the board of the basketball ring? And uh, like for example, you throw it at an angle of 30 degrees from the horizontal. Uh, do you think where will be the ball bounce once you're going to throw it in a certain 30 degrees angle once you throw it in the board or on the board of the ring of the basketball? Have you tried to throw it? Or actually, when you play basketball, and if you're going to throw it to your, uh, no, to your co-player, your teammate, but using the using the floor, you try to bounce it on the floor. So what are we going to do for that? So that it will actually reach your player or your teammate in an exact position or exact location. Have you seen that passing the ball, but uh, but throwing it on the floor? Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, what, have your, what is your observation? It must be what? So that it could breach the player, your desired player, to catch the ball. But you throw it on the floor. You throw the ball uh, more horizontal. So the angle, when the ball, uh, the angle where you threw the ball is equal to the angle of it bouncing from the ground towards okay the it must be diba right? if you want to if you want to pass the ball but try to bounce it on the floor you need to pass it or to bounce it in the location where the angle is exactly the same with the angle of the player to the ball if this will be the player if this is he, if this is you for example and the player is right over here Okay, but there is another player right over here, and you need to pass the ball using the floor. So you have to throw it, which is angled the same way. The ball will bounce that exactly. Sorry, it's hard for me to use the. There, I will decide to, to, to draw it again to see to you that it must be at the same angle. There. So this two angle must be the same so that it could reach your teammate in an exact location. If not, your teammate could have a hard time to catch the ball. Diba? So it must be at the same angle. So mga player, kabasibo, they have to calculate it, estimate it, 
actually perfectly not that perfectly but uh, quite perfect so that it could it could be more accurately passed to its or his teammate para it is any assists or ang tawag ka na, turnovers, malikawan ang turnovers sa atin nga basketball play. So, this is also how your life behaves. Okay? Your life is actually behaves. It bounces back and it will reflect or it will reflect back at the same angle on its incident light ray. So, if you will have a mirror here, class. If you will have a mirror. And let's divide the mirror into two. So let's have to put an invisible line. This invisible line is called as the normal line, which divides the mirror into two. Okay. Now you will have an incident light ray. An incident light ray is said to be as an incoming ray. So an incident light ray, when it strikes the mirror, the angle of incidence right over here, the angle of incidence, the theta, sorry, angle theta, must be located from the normal line, not from the mirror, huh? from the normal line. So if, if this is the floor, the incident angle is right over here. So the incident angle is from the normal line. Your floor is serves as the mirror, okay? So you will see it further when we use the mirror because as we have our lesson last, last year, that reflection may, may come in two forms. It could be a specular reflection and a diffuse reflection. Specular occurs in smooth surfaces like your mirror and diffuse occurs reflection, which is rough surfaces like your wall, your concrete wall, and some other materials that you cannot even see your reflection in that certain wall. So here, you will see that the angle of incidence is from the normal line. And you will have a reflected light ray. A reflected light ray is outgoing ray. It's an outgoing ray. So this must be two equal. So the law of reflection now will give you the definition that angle of incidence must be equal, equal to the sorry angle of reflection. And the measurement of the angle is from the normal line, not from the mirror. Is that clear? Again, the measurement of the angle is from the normal line, not from the mirror. So that's the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection. So the ball that is thrown on the floor, it will bounce back at the same angle from the normal line. If you throw a tennis ball on the wall at a certain angle, it will bounce back to the opposite side at a normal line. Dumduman nyo kung mga, ang mga laki, ang mga yamuat na kang elementary ninyo. They have to put a mirror on their shoe and put it quite under the skirt of the girls. Pero sorry, girls are wearing shorts. They're not wearing their panties. So when we are in elementary, we used to do that with my friends, my boys' friends, mga classmates, mga, mga boys. They're doing that to our girls. But sad to say, our girls are wearing, wearing shorts. They, they don't wear exactly panties. They have panties and they have shorts. So they put mirrors on their shoes and then put an angle portion so that we could see clear image. And sometimes you can use that in in some uh, concept in some movies that they have to there is a reflection in the mirror and they saw something they put on the on the drinks so they put something on poison on the drinks and then the bida can see that in the reflection in the mirror they use the law of reflection that so that to catch the contrabida Right, So you see that the law of reflection is always remember that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. And the measurement is from the normal line. Okay, I hope this is clear. Right. Now, let's now proceed 
to our image that is formed in a plane mirror. So let's have to discuss first, how can we describe the image that is formed in a plane mirror? A plane mirror is actually a very common mirror that we use at home. You put that in your, in your bag, especially for the girls. Before you go to school, you have to look at yourself in the mirror. You have to, to be, of course, to be sure that you look good. So you have to see your reflection in the mirror. So every day, you are looking yourself in the mirror. Now, can you give me a description of your own image, a description of your own image once you look at yourself in the mirror? So let's have to enumerate image formed in a plain mirror. Okay, everybody, you can get your mirror and you put your finger nearer to the mirror, your point finger, this one. Who can describe the size of your finger in the image compared to the size, the actual size of your finger? Is there any distortion on the image or is there any increase in the size or decrease in the size once you look at your finger in the mirror? It's the same, sir. Okay, Kian, observe, it's the same and it is correct, right? In a plain mirror, you can see the same image, same image. That's why your side cars are your side mirrors of your motorcycles and cars are plain mirror so that you could see the actual size of the person behind you or the outs, uh, 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 actual size of the car or any vehicle behind you. That's why it's, it's, it is actually plain mirror. So you see a same size mirror, a uh, same size image, I mean, once we're talking about the image size in a plain mirror. Let's go to number two. Now, if you are going to put your finger again on the mirror like this, you move your finger far and look at the image inside and put it again forward and look at the image inside. You describe the image distance from the mirror. And we're not talking already with the size. Huh? We're talking with the image distance. The image distance compared to your object's distance. How can you describe that? Ang ibata na. How about others? Are you performing? Um, Jamila. Jamila, have you observed? Do you have a mirror with you there? Yes, sir. Okay, what, have you, what is your observation in terms of the image distance and the object's distance once you're going to put your hand nearer and farther? If nearer, sir, rapid man ang distance ka ang finger ko, pero pag magrayo, gani, garayo man. Okay, so what conclusion can we arrive here? Can you give me the equation? Any equation to describe? Your image distance and object's distance. Any equation can help. Um, Ayan, Benedict, can you give uh, or can you help Jamila to formulate an equation in terms of the image distance and the object's distance? Jamila said they have the same the same distances from the mirror. So what will be the equation? Who can help Ayan? Anybody? Uh, image distance is equal to object distance, sir. Okay, so let's, let's have it first, object's distance. DO or object's distance will be equal to D sub I for image distance. So that's it. So we have to, your, your image form in a play mirror is that your object's distance is always equal to the image distance. If you're nearer to the mirror, your image is also nearer to the mirror. If you're farther from the mirror, your image will be also farther from the mirror. Okay, let's have number three. Okay, 
get your mirror and you write letter E on the paper. There, letter E. And then you put your mirror on the side. Standing vertically or yeah, vertically on the paper that the mirror will be perpendicularly on the paper. And look at the image letter E in the mirror. So what have you noticed on the letter E? Uh, acacia. What have you noticed in the letter E once you put your your or your you put your mirror per, perpendicularly on the paper? I hope you have your it, mirror. It, yes. It's opposite, sir. Uh, it's opposite. Or did you see this image? Acacia? Yes, sir. Okay. So you've seen that image. So you will see that the letter E is reverse, right? It was written in an opposite way. Uh, uh, yeah, it was written in an opposite uh, way. So therefore, if an image is or an object is put in front of the mirror, the image form is reverse. Or others term is a side reverse or side inverted. Okay, what have you noticed on the word or on the letters printed on the ambulance van in front of it? What have you noticed? I hope you are very it's observant. It's yes, inverted, sir. It is it's actually inverted. reverse, not inverted, the reverse. The letters were written reverse or side inverted. Why is that so? So that the vehicles that can see the ambulance in the back can can see that it is an ambulance. Okay. Then word. Correct. Because once you're going, if you're the driver in front of the ambulance and it's traffic and the ambulance is right just behind you, you could see on the side mirror, no, no, if the image will strike this or the object will strike the side mirror of your car and the side mirror will actually correct, correct it. So that's why we could see and read it clearly, ambulance. So you, you don't have any reason not to, to give way to the ambulance. That's why the ambulance are written that way, okay? It's because of the, the vehicles which is in front of the ambulance could see it on the side mirror, which is written correctly, okay? So that is reverse and side inverted. Hmm. Number four, okay. Romel observed a while ago in the comparison of the image in the spoon and in the mirror, and Romel said that in the spoon, the head is on the top, the head is at the bottom, but the neck is on the top. Well, in the mirror, it's actually the actual position. Okay, so definitely the, 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 the image form in a plane mirror, in terms of its position, all image are all erect or it is also termed as upright, okay? So upright, the image is upright. If you're standing in front of the mirror, definitely you are also standing, your image is also standing behind the mirror. So you don't have an upright image, so it's erect. Okay, before we proceed to the fifth description, let's have first to learn the two kinds of image. So there are two kinds of image. What are these? First is called as real image. So once we talk about real image, true image, real, okay? Actually, this is found in front of the mirror. or not found, formed, okay, the term is formed in front of the mirror. So the question is, can you see the real image? Because it is in front of the mirror. Can you see the image? 
makita mo ang image I had if it is formed in front. Yes or just answer me yes or no. Lyndon, do you think you can see the image if it is in front? Of course, you can see that. You can still see the image, but you have to use a screen. Okay? So it is projected on a screen. Projected on a screen. The one that is projected in the projector is an example of a real image. Because you have to use a screen, okay? Now, your camera also projects a real image. Your camera, if you if you have, uh, if you, uh, because your camera as of now are all digital, and in our time we use we use film. The film is actually the project or the screen. Actually, it produces a real image. Even your eyes produce real image, okay? Now, and real image are always inverted. You have to remember that. It is always inverted. Now, the question is, how about in the camera? Why it is upright? Even you, if I, if I, if I said a while ago that your image form is... Your image form is uh, is what we call it is is erect, so it must be upside down. But your eyes can perceive can perceive a certain erect image, okay? But we will just have to discuss that when once we reach now the application of lenses. It's another story, but you have to remember that real image always always project inverted image, okay? The second one is. Now, the second one is, number two, is virtual image. Your virtual image projects or it is found or formed inside the mirror. The one you can see directly in the mirror is a virtual image. What you've seen in the mirror inside is a virtual image. It's just a virtual, okay? And a virtual image is always erect. That's always erect. Remember that, always. Okay, therefore, class, what kind of image is formed in a plain mirror? Renz, what, what kind of image? Virtual and image. Virtual, correct. So it is virtual image. Because you see it inside the mirror, and of course, it is erect and upright. So that is a virtual image. So therefore, class, this is an image formed in a play mirror. First, it is same size. The distance of the object is always equal to the distance of the image from the mirror. It is always reverse or side inverted. It is always erect and upright. And a virtual image is formed in a plane mirror. So I hope that this is clear with you. Okay. So we will stop the meeting and we will going to meet again today for the second topic, which is on spherical mirror. Okay. I will just end the meeting.